The standard diagnostic workup really includes flow cytometry of the blood to characterize the lymphocyte population. Typically, the way patients present to their referring from the, uh, to their referring physician is that they'll have a blood count checked and their white count will be elevated and there'll be an abnormally high number of lymphocytes. So the standard practice or approach would be to send a blood sample off for flow cytometry and confirm that the diagnosis is CLL. That's made with uh, demonstrating by flow cytometry typical markers on the surface of the cells. They should be monoclonal by light chain restriction. They'll, they should also express uh, CD5, CD19, and CD23, that combination of markers on the cells. So that's really what's required for diagnosis. We, the fish is not required for diagnosis. Mutation status isn't required for diagnosis. None of the prognostic factors are required at the time of diagnosis uh, to make the diagnosis or confirm the diagnosis of CLL. They are, I think, informative or helpful in terms of discussing with patients, counseling patients, in terms of determining what the frequency of their follow-up should be. Um, and, but in the watch and wait phase, the prognostic factors are additional information that isn't really used to manage the patients.